今日は何曜日月,月月月曜日 Today is Monday November 21st 2022 Medaka Metal Style、um, Today I'm just going to talk about like why Medakas became so popular in Japan and <clears throat> with wine in hand today、um, Tampai Chin Chin Chayo The best wine of the day is when I could do the Medaka Cuts, mid up cuts.、Um, so, these are the guys that I use.、Um, these are from Daiso, they're about three dollars each. And the temperature here in Pasquale, California, 12 miles south of San Francisco, it's been dropping to like 41 in the morning and it gets as warm as 58. And、um, at night, I'll just cover this up. Make sure the frost doesn't go in. So that's something different that I'm doing, and that's what this is.、Um, I don't think I had this out、um, in a while. But again, again, again. <clears throat> Why did Midakas get so popular in Japan? Simple reason. They are so easy, they are so simple. So in Japan, during the summer, there's all these festivals. And at these festivals, summer festivals,、um, there is a.、Uh, it started off like decades ago,、um, decades and decades ago, when my grand- grandfather was breeding、uh, goldfish in Japan. It was called a、um, Kingyo Sukui. What is Kingyo Sukui? I don't have a good example, but all these little kids will take their.、Um, take their. you know, the $1 coins. And、um, what they, they'd be like, yeah, everybody wants all these like living creatures, right? So they would go to these fairs and it'd be called a kingyo sukui. Kingyo sukui. So you pay a dollar per net. And for the nets that they were used for the kingyo sukui, so it's. Basically, something like this, but it, it, it's just a sheet of thin paper here instead of the net, right? So, kingyo sukui, that is to scoop up goldfish. So, you pay your dollar, and they're like, well, whatever you could scoop, you could take home. So, people would、um, do I have an example? Let me just put this down. So, For a dollar, you'll get a cup and it'll get a scoop with this paper on top. And to suku, so whatever you could scoop, you could keep and take home and surprise your parents, right? So all the kids will be, you know, doing this, and then the paper would rip and they'll go home saying,、so, you know, I wasn't able to scoop anything. So, What peop, you know, what the kids will do is try to scoop as much as possible without putting too much resistance on the paper net and to scoop up what they can. And then it's just so they would do that until the paper dissolved in the water. And a lot of times the kids will come home with. One goldfish, two goldfish, three goldfish, three goldfish. And a lot of the times, the goldfish that、um, they had at the fairs, they were the Joaquins, right? Joaquins, they're small, but they get up to 12 inches. So when a kid goes home to their parents, they go, Oh, look, I got this at the King Yosukui. They're like,、um, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? They're going to get big. So now they have all these medaka sukui instead of the kingyo, instead of the goldfish sukui. It's a medaka sukui. So kids will come home with medakas and, like, look, look, I got these, you know, at the fair for a dollar. And again, the reason why medakas got so popular. In Japan, is all you need 
they're not going to become more than they're going to be less than two inches right like at three years if they make it to three years they're going to be about like four centimeters long so the unexpected parent you have kids coming home with all these binocas all they needed was a bucket of this size this is about two and a half gallons water and that was it the simplicity of taking care of midakas that was it dechlorinated water with a bucket and three to four midakas and they lived outdoors outside and that's why minakas became so popular. So now that being said, minakas are strong on their, in their natural form in nature. And as we humans started to develop them for their looks, oh, I see a reddish one. I see all these taigaikos, the uh, lamas, the glares. People started to crossbreed them. Oh, I see one with long fins, the other long fin. I see them, you know, with swaddles. I see them with their hikari taike. Because they became so far looking from their original natural state, they became weaker and weaker because they were already shaped perfect and colored perfect to live out of nature but now since we are trying to make them more attractive for us humans they're becoming weaker and weaker and weaker right so it's so it's important not to forget why midakas became so popular to begin with they're simple to take care of they're easy to take care of and now that we are as humans trying to modify them to look, to make them look like something that we desire, dream of, they're becoming weaker and weaker and weaker. So as we get into the hobby, like I got into the hobby because of that. I mean, I've seen, I've never seen Minakas like this when I was growing up in Japan back in the late seventies, right? Like it, they just didn't exist. And I'm not going to wake them up because the water is cold and they're chillaxing on the bottom. Again, the last thing you want to do is to disturb them. They already have the do not disturb when they're in the bottom, kind of chillaxing. But it's really important to remember why they became so popular. So now, based on that knowledge, now that we have all these crazy looking... Um, breeds with lineages right that attracts us that actually brought a lot of us to this hobby um, we are going to keep them and we're going to try to get develop them right so as we do that as we do that I think I'm trying to get to the point it is really important to make sure that we keep them strong as possible, right? We need to keep them as strong as possible so we could keep the strong bloodline going. Their original natural bloodline. So what has happened, especially in Japan in the past five years is the popularity of the Minakas. Yeah, the industry is going to look at it like, well, there's... Yeah, we can make a lot of money off of minakas, so they're going to be introducing all these um, formulas to introduce to the to put in the water. Right. Uh, they're going to tell you you need to add these additives to make sure that they grow properly for their colors to enhance. And a lot of people are starting to put in like PSB is an example. It's it's a bacteria source. So more bacteria, like when you have these little tiny guys, um, it gives them extra 
nutritional uh, little things that they could eat, basically. But as a lot of enthusiasts, when we see new products, will tend to jump on it to make to try to see if they can make their minakas grow faster, look better, etc. But what we're doing at the same time is we're teaching them, making them so that they become dependent on this, on something that we the industry is creating. Right, they're they're making a profit based on the popularity of medakas. But as we do that, we're making the medakas weaker and weaker and weaker because now they have to rely on these new products that we're giving them, providing them. They don't get that in nature, right? If they're weak, they're not going to make it. The stronger ones will survive and they'll pass on their genes, and that's what we want. So, with all that being said, long story short, always remember the reason why the Medakas became so popular in Japan. You're at home, your kids are out at the summer festival. They come home with a bag with four Medakas saying, Mom, Dad, look what I got. And... You have a bucket, you put in some dechlorinated water, you put them in there, and they're fine. And they're able to greet these beautiful medakas every morning, say hi to them, feed them a little bit. And that was the, and that was the beauty, the simplicity. They're not going to outgrow your bucket. And I'm not talking about breeding them, right? I'm just talking about why it became so popular amongst the general public. And keeping that in mind, us getting all this knowledge from the internet about how you you could buy this product, you put this in, you could bring them indoors, you could heat the water up, you know, you do this to keep all the eggs that you could get. We're just promoting them to become weak and weaker because the weaker bloodstream is going to live because of what we are providing them. We're giving them a comfort area. Like if we were born in the woods and if the wolves are taking care of us versus somebody you bring in that was brought up in the city, if you bring that city boy or girl into the woods in the middle of winter, What's going to happen? The boy or the girl that was brought up by the wolves are going to survive. They know how to survive. But the city boys and city girls, they're not going to make it. Not just physically, but mentally. They're just not going to make it. So look at it that way. It's very important to make sure that we remember the reason why the Medaka rice fish in Japan got really popular simple right keeping things simple meaning keeping them strong as possible started with a kid a child a girl bringing back two or three medakas and the parents like all right i got a bucket bucket full of dechlorinated water outdoors you put them in there, and that was it. And the Medakas were doing fine. All right, so that was, uh, I was trying to make it into a two minute thing, but I guess it's 14 minutes and 12 seconds. Um, maybe this will be one of the uh, vlog episodes or whatever. But, all right, so um, that was the Medaka moment of today. Uh, Medaka metal style. The metal in Medaka today is Motley Crue. I know you don't hear it in the background, but it is running. Released back in Girls, Girls, Girls. Released back in 1987. I was in Tokyo, Japan. Awesome time. Um, it was awesome. Um, so Mick Mar they're touring Europe uh, this summer. Actually, yeah, next year, so 2023. Without Mick Mars. Mick Mars is a guitarist. He retired. 
and uh, John Five from Rob Zombie. Um, she's done a lot of stuff. He's going to be filling in um, for the rest of the tour. So John Five's going to be playing guitar for Motley Crue. But on a side note, awesome eyeball, my, my youth right now. So all right, so we'll do it again next time. But I'll go ahead and hopefully there was some information. Um, just a daily Medaka checkup. Uh, Medakatsu style. Medakatsu again is just whenever you're thinking, doing something with your favorite buddy, the Medakas. Okay. Come by Chinchin Jayo <clears throat> with the wine in hand today. Uh, we'll do it again next time. All right, out.